This is a 1967 Bailey Maestro T, and in celebration of Bailey's 75th anniversary, we're taking a step back in time to look at this particular model. Now, this is a four berth caravan that costs £425, and it was built the same year that the Beatles released their Sgt. Pepper album, and the QE2 was launched at Clydebank. Now, this particular caravan has spent the best part of two decades in a hedge before my son Charlie and I renovated it and called it Gladys. Now, in modern terms, this is a relatively lightweight caravan. It weighs just 1,900 pounds, which is approximately 860 kilos. Now, the ideal tow car for this way back in 1967 would have been the Rover P6, or in modern terms, it means you can have a wide variety of tow cars. The construction method is similar to the very first Bailey caravan that was made in 1948, just 18 years before this caravan rolled off the Bristol production line. It has a timber frame which is clad with aluminium, a skill that Martin Bailey learnt during World War II and his aircraft production days. The sweeping lines are definitely of the era and epitomise the swinging 60s. But let's take a look inside to see what a caravan that was built 55 years ago has to offer. The first thing you notice is just how much room there is in here for a 14 foot long caravan. There are two lounging areas, one to the front where I'm sat, and another to the rear. Lighting, of course, is run by gas, and that was pretty much the only form of heating that caravans had, as gas heating wasn't commonplace in the 60s. Now, at night time, this would convert to a double bed, albeit quite a small double bed by modern standards, and the rear would convert to a single. Now, that's three berths with the youngest family member. They would sleep in a frame and canvas bed that would be perched above that rear single. Now in the middle is a large wardrobe with full length hanging inside and a large mirror to the outside because everyone in the 1960s always had to look their best. Now during the 1960s, this was quite a well-equipped kitchen, plenty of storage as you can see, and with the work top down, lots of space for preparing meals. Under here is a two burner gas hob with a grill underneath, and to the left is a sink with a handy folding tap. Now at the time this may have had a foot pump fitted but this has now been converted to an electric pump. Now of course back in the day this would not have had a microwave or a, a hot water heater and if you needed hot water for your sink all you did you got your famous whistly kettle put it on the gas hob and then waited for your hot water. As I said earlier, this is a Maestro T, and the T stood for toilet. Now, this may seem bizarre by modern standards, but having a toilet in a caravan was big news in the 1960s. And to try and make the most of the space, this has what both my son and I think is probably one of the most ingenious features we've ever seen. Now, the toilet itself is tucked away in this corner. Now, you're not gonna have a lot of leg room in there, but this has an ingenious folding double door. This folds out, there's a magnet catch on there, gives you lots of room in the toilet. And then, to maximise space in the caravan, it simply folds away again into that corner. So in summary, this 1967 Bailey Maestro T is a four berth family caravan that was way ahead of its time in the 1960s. It's incredibly roomy for a 14 foot caravan and was popular in the UK as well as various export markets. Bailey continues to build caravans at the same South Liberty Lane production facility in Bristol, the very same place where this particular caravan was made. And I'm incredibly proud that Gladys and I could be part of their anniversary celebrations.